नमस्कार नमस्कार थैंक यू आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू आई सो वन ऑफ यूर वीडियोज अबाउट द डार्क नाइट ऑफ द ईगो एंड आई कुन अंडरस्टैंड दिस बिफोर बट आई थिंक दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई बिन गोइंग थ्रू विद सम टाइम नाउ एंड इट्स जस्ट बिन रियली डिप्रेसिव एंड at the same time for the past year i have been getting rid of things that the body doesn't need um since i've been on the path i stopped drinking i stopped doing certain drugs and you know i'm just trying to be an instrument for the source as it wants me to be i'm currently just left with smoking smoking cannabis i i actually don't enjoy it anymore and the quitting process has been very tough and i'm i'm really glad i came across you because i've been in practice on the neo advaitan and now that i've come across you i don't feel like i've wasted so much of the learning that i've been doing and i just wondered if you could help guide me i feel very lost at the moment sometimes it, i feel like i'm moving forward there's so many things i don't even understand um i've been i've been tapping into presence and trying to and my my brain's gone blank sorry um it's not right it's all right thanks i feel like there's some awareness when i'm asleep there's something that i can't grasp but there's something there when i sleep the something but in real in in the physical i'm not sure if i'm doing the practices if i'm tapping into what i'm supposed to be <laughs> it's a bit a bit lost here and you know i really gelled with you as soon as i came across your videos about 3 weeks ago and i would really love some guidance from you and even the opportunity if it resonates with you as well to be a teacher for me or a guidance source because it's just a lot going on i don't know <laughs> it's 3 weeks now since you came across these videos you've you know stopped with certain substances you stopped drinking these are big huge achievements one also has to look at what one has achieved and not what is to be achieved it's an achievement to leave alcohol behind you know because the system is used to that for so many years and it also puts you in certain moods it takes sometimes 5 to 7 years for the system to readjust after it has been drinking alcohol for longer periods of time so it's very very important to tell yourself every day first thing you wake up in the morning to pat yourself on the back and say hey i've i've actually done that it's incredible this is yes it is the dark night of the ego because the ego wants you to drink it wants you to smoke it wants you to do all those things that keep you a victim rather than a master of the situation and of your life so when you wake up in the morning and you pat yourself on the back and you say okay i've done this this is amazing the whole body takes time you know in the first periods when you stop drinking and you stop taking substances especially substances that push you up then it needs time to realize that oh <laughs> life is is more quiet and is more simple than what all those substances have made me believe so to appreciate just the simplicity life is nothing much more than actually what is in front of my nose that's what life is it is not more than that and anything that attempts to be more than that is is actually going against life so it's it's going to cause misery anyways so you pat yourself on the back when you wake up in the morning and say i'm a good girl i'm on the right track yes and then you already have a smile on your face right so 
This is how you slowly move into that new way of living. The dark night of the ego means the ego doesn't want to die. It wants you to drink, it wants you to smoke, it wants you to do all these things, you know? And, and even smoking ganja that you're doing, cannabis you call it, even that, you slowly reduce it. First you, you smoke half of what you do and then you gradually reduce it because Life is just that exciting without those things, because those things, they give you a feeling that life is more than what it is. But life is not more than what is in front of your nose. It's a very simple story, actually. So then you're just here and you're just listening to the grass grow. If at all there's any grass growing, where do you live? In which city? You look like a city girl to me. <laughs> where do you live? In London. London. Okay, so then you have to go to the park, to Hyde Park, and listen to the grass grow there, right? So it's a simple thing, don't expect anything from life. Try to imagine one of those little Aboriginal kids sitting in the outback in Australia and just looking into the distance, you know? They're just there, sitting there under a tree and looking into the distance. That's what life is, actually. The ego has complicated it, that's all. So get down to simplicity, starting. Whatever you have in the house that you don't absolutely need, take a big garbage bag and put it all inside, put it on the road, or wherever you do. All material objects that are not needed must go. That's very crucial. The dirt behind the garbage bin has to be cleaned up. Everything has to be spotlessly clean. That's the first thing. If matter is not taken care of, you cannot connect with Source. So in the process of cleaning up your house, half of your depression will go. All dark objects, anything which is too dark, too black, too... They absorb energy, they also absorb negative energy out with all the black objects. You don't have to be fanatic about it, but it's a good thing to start. No dark objects wherever possible. There are people who have black sofas. How are they supposed to feel light then? You know? Because black absorbs energy, it just absorbs light. That's what it does. Look around the house. Everything you don't need goes into the and literally be ruthless with yourself. So your depression <laughs> will go in that, half of it. And the other half will go when you go out and spend an hour listening to the grass growing, grounding, stand on the earth, let yourself be grounded so all the energy moves away from the system that is not supposed to be there. Every day watch the videos. The videos, they are, they are mantras, they're mantras. Even if you don't understand what is being said, it doesn't matter, listen to them. It's a Maharishika's mantra there. There are a reason why there are people on this planet who are here to guide people, because that's what they're good at. Listen, you have a chance now in today's day and age. You don't have to make your way from London to Goa, no? I would, yeah, I would if I could. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to mean if I could. <laughs> One day you will be able to, but you won't be able if you don't do these things first. Because the money will flow, the opportunities will flow, if there is place for them to flow into, you know? Understand, right? The first step is to clear up. If matter is not taken care of, nothing works, just nothing works. Nothing works. You know, when I, many years ago, when the knowledge started to manifest and there was Sri Krishna there, what he said was, take care of matter and have a good life. That was the sentence that came. Take care of matter and have a good life. So if you don't take care of matter, you cannot do anything beyond that. First the matter, that's what matters and step by step, attend as many lives as you can. Listen to what others are asking. Their very questions are amazing. And gradually you will come out of the dark night of the ego, and you will... 
emerge into just simple living, nothing much, just what is, no bliss, just this, this, just a simple thing, breathing in, breathing out, listening to the grass grow, doing your work, slowly a partner turns up, a child turns up, and one day you will die. That's all, that's what this life is. Yes? Yeah. Okay. All right. Namaskar. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Namaskar.